I'm going to introduce you to my right hand man over at the shop here. Uh, he goes by a chopper named Tony Asario. Uh, he's going to go over all the performance uh, stuff that we did on this truck and, and give you a breakdown of anything motor wise, brake wise, all that stuff. What's up everybody? Chopper here. So quick rundown of uh, all the mechanicals, drivetrain stuff we did to the truck. So we've got a Willwood brake system in here. Uh, first thing you can see is a 1.12 inch bore master. It's the biggest master that Willwood makes. It's got a nice prop valve mounted right off the side of it. Uh, we've got stainless steel brake, hard lines front to rear throughout the whole truck. This front brake package is a 14 inch rotor with a six piston caliper. Um, handles like a champ, cross drilled slotted rotors front and rear. As we get to the back of the truck, we've got a 12 inch rotor with a four piston caliper, another well wood set up in the rear. Again, cross drilled, slotted, very nice package, minimal fab work to make it all fit for the custom stuff we got going on. Uh, we've got a full aeromotive fuel system underneath this, a uh, 20 gallon fuel cell custom made. We've got an aeromotive pump, pre-filter, post-filter, all dash six steel braided line front to rear. Uh, fuel system will support 800 naturally aspirated horsepower, more than he'll ever need, more than he'll ever put in it. Uh, we've gone through, shortened the drive shaft, we've got a 3 inch stainless steel exhaust system on it, true dual exhaust uh, with some Magnaflow mufflers, love those pieces, very nice, very clean. As we uh, work our way towards the front of the truck, we've got a small block Chevy, Somewhere around neighborhood wise, 355 cubic inches. Uh, tune port injected style manifold, full aftermarket Holly Dominator EFI system, 700 R4 overdrive trans. Uh, again, full aeromotive fuel system, front to rear. It's got an AccuFab throttle body on it. Nice little piece. Headman headers, those things are great. We've got an aluminum four core radiator in it with dual electric fans that are hidden. Gone in and over here we've got some battery jumper terminals. Since we put the battery underneath the bed, we wanted to make it easy to jump start the truck in any scenario. So we put, Garrett made a nice plate here, mounted the terminals, one, you know, zero gauge goes back to the battery and then the ground's right to the chassis. Real nice, easy feature there. We've got a custom intake, uh, designed in-house and made in-house. Uh, Pieces provided by Spectre, very nice. Guys were great to work with. Sur full serpentine uh, accessory system on it. AC compressor, alternator, power steering, uh, full complement. Eventually we will be doing an AC system in the truck. It's got a uh, rack and pinion steering system on it. Pirate manufacturing, uh, 30 inch steering column. We went through, did all brand new, uh, brand new plumbing for the power steering system, brand new stainless uh, braided trans cooler lines. <coughs> We've got a custom mounted radiator overflow, uh, low car oil dipstick, low car trans dipstick. We've got some custom brackets that we had to make for the spark plug wires. Uh, they are actually handmade pieces that run down to the cylinder head to float your loom above the, uh, the headers. Had nowhere else that we could actually mount them. So that turned out pretty slick, kind of blends in with the, the valve covers. As we get to the inside of the truck now, one of the first things you're going to see inside where the glove box was, we mounted the Holly Dominator computer. Uh, very nice fit. It's got the MSD box uh, 6AL mounted underneath it. So as we make our way across the dash, we've got brand new ignition switch that we picked up from Quickwire. It came with the 22 circuit harness that we installed. Got a brand new Dakota digital gauge system in here. It's the HDX series. This stuff's badass. Uh, allows you to change the colors. We're in demo mode so you can see how it goes. You can change your background colors, change your needle colors. Uh, your little displays in here are changeable so you can have it say specifically what numbers you want you know your miles your you can monitor zero to sixty times your quarter mile times these things are just absolutely bitchin uh, best piece on the market I wouldn't bother with anybody else's digital system uh, haven't seen anything that compares yet 
Uh, once we get off to the edge of the column, we've got a custom one-off steering wheel that was designed and built to match the wheels of this truck. There's one in existence and it is this one itself, made, designed by the owner, made by intro. Killer piece, they knocked it out of the park on this. Can't argue with that one at all, absolutely love it. Uh, down underneath the dash, we've got a low car custom C10 bolt-in gas pedal to get rid of that stock ugliness. Cool piece, very nice to install, straightforward. Uh, no headaches in that in that deal. Underneath the dash, you're not gonna be able to see it. We've got the the control box for the Dakota digital gauges, and we installed a BIM module that allows the gauge cluster to read the oil pressure through the Holly system. So we didn't have to have a, a lot of extra sensors off the motor. So we're able to, to monitor and see what the Holly reads on our dash, which is, I think, exquisitely awesome. So yeah, guys, that's, that's it for Project Perfect 10. It's, uh, it's amazing how three, just about three years of building can get uh, edited down into six minutes of footage or 20 minutes, whatever we're at. Uh, next part though, just this thing mobbing down the street, you know, slammed and, and doing what it's built to do. Uh, the owner's about to come pick it up and it's off to paint and he's got one hell of a plan for it. So I cannot wait to see what the hell this thing turns out to be. So on to the next one guys, stay tuned and ring that bell in the bottom corner for Chopper here. He's been talking about that for ages. <laughs> All right, peace. What up, y'all? What up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Front brake package is a 16, 14 inch rotor. Front brake package. <laughs> <laughs> you mess up, don't say balls. Just... <laughs> All right, so now you.